Question 24. Level 5 question now because we're approaching the end of the paper. So it says here is a sketch of a quadrilateral. Remember, a quadrilateral has got four sides. It is not drawn to scale. Okay. So when what that means is that this six centimeters on the actual paper won't necessarily be exactly six centimeters if you measure it. This eight centimeters won't exactly be eight centimeters if you measure it because it's not drawn to scale. What we've got to do is draw the full size quadrilateral accurately below. Use a protractor, which is a posh word for an angle measure, which is what I've got here, and a ruler, which I've got over here. Two of the lines are being drawn for us. Now I need to scroll down. Now to stop me from having to keep scrolling up and down, I'm just going to draw a quick sketch of my shape here. So I've got a line of six which goes down, I've got a line of eight which goes across the bottom, then I've got a slanted line of 9.2. Now my last line, this one, I have no information whatsoever about it. I don't know any of these two angles and I don't know how long it is. So that line will have to be the last line. It's almost like saying I'll get that line for free if I've done the other three lines correctly. So now let's scroll down and we've got our information. Oh, one thing I've forgotten is I've forgotten to put my 75 degrees on. So that's there. Now let's go down. Now then, I've already got my 6. So that's done. I've already got my 8. So that's done. So if I can do the 75 and the 9.2, I will be able to complete my shape. Now, I can't do my 9.2 yet because I wouldn't know which direction to point my ruler in. Okay, I wouldn't know whether to point it up here, I wouldn't know whether to point it over there, or whether to point it really flat, I wouldn't know what to do. So I've got to do my 75 first. So if I pick my angle measure up, you've got to decide which end to put it on. Now, my angle of 75 comes from the bottom right hand corner of the shape. So it's pointless putting it over here because that's the bottom left corner. So the center of my angle measure, which is this point here, has to go on the bottom right hand corner, which is there. Okay? Now, you've got a zero at this end, and you've got a zero at this end. So you've got to decide how are you measuring? Well, you're measuring from this line here. So we're starting to count from this zero here on this side. So it goes 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and we want 75. So 75 is there. Okay? Once we have marked off 75 degrees, and I think at this point it's worth saying that if you go from the other end, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, you'd get a mark there. But actually, 75 from that end, if you follow it around from this line, which is what we need to do, the 75 from this end is actually at 105. So we've got to be really careful that we go from the correct end. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. Once we've established that, we can take the angle measure away, we can bring the ruler in, and we can join it up. This might be slightly rotating. Now this is a little bit fiddly to do on the computer. Obviously you would be finding it easier to do this at home with an actual ruler. So, put it on the end of the line, still fiddling around with it a little bit, put it on the end of the line and we've got to measure 9.2. So let's get this out of the way. So we've got to measure 9.2. So if you get your pen and join up to the mark, you can see that that mark is actually only 5 centimeters. so we've got to keep going. So 6 centimetres, 7 centimetres, 8 centimetres, 9 centimetres, 9.2 would be there. This is going 10, 20, 30, 40 because this is actually in millimetres. So 9.2 centimetres is going to be 92 millimetres. So it's going to be there. Okay. Now we've done, we've got most of it. All we need to do now 
is rotate the ruler around and basically join it up. Now, as I said earlier, we're going to get this side for free because we've got absolutely no information. So, because we've left it till last, we've just got to join it up. And there we have it. We've done. Good idea just to label everything. So, the six we've done, the eight we've done, the 75 we measured accurately. Quick check. Okay, so you can see that that is 75. Okay, and the ruler, we've just measured that to be 9.2 centimeters. So that is the question finished.